gentlemen, ladies, Santa Todd here. How we doing? Um, it's a new week, midweek. Uh, my uncle took this week off of work. Uh, we're still not busy yet. Evidently, the curve is flattening. So hopefully, they I mean they extended the stay-at-home order in Kansas City metro area till May 3rd. Uh, come on, every morning, man. No matter how little traffic. <laughs> Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too impatient. I don't know. My patience in the last week seems to have been kind of short, and there's really no reason for it. Um, I don't have anything to really be upset about or anything, but I've just had that kind of down feeling the past week and just, I don't know, maybe it's the lack of human interaction or contact with anybody. I mean, not just the, the being less people around, I'm talking about just being able to go over and visit family or get a hug or, or something like that. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> And it's just, I think it's starting to grate on me a little bit. Um, my dad's been down in Florida for two months or more because they went down there for a, to bury my uh, step-grandfather, uh, my stepmom's dad, because um, he passed away. Uh, not from coronavirus, but he was in his 80s and had some various health issues and uh, I think he was in his he might have been his 90s and um, I don't know I talked to my grandmother on the phone I, I hadn't talked to her in a while but um, I, I, I don't know I been thinking about her I think about her a lot but it's one of those deals where you think about it but then you don't do anything about it and she's gonna be 92 <laughs> this year her birthday's three days before mine uh, she's gonna be 92 this year and I just um, I don't know I just take it for granted that she's been there and it seems like she'll always be there but it's not true um, so I called her the other day because I was feeling like I should at least tell her I love her, you know, and see how she's doing. Um, I mean, she knows that I love her, but, you know, it really, really makes you feel better when you hear somebody actually say it, you know. And I called and she hits the phone, she's like, hello, and I'm like, Hey, Grandma, you gotta talk kind of loud because she's like <laughs> deaf in one ear from from some some I think chicken pox or something when she was a kid. She had her eardrum burst, and um, so one of her ears she can't hardly hear out of, <laughs> and the other one, you know, she's just 91, you know, and it, she's like, I go, she goes, I know somebody called me from here, and I, you know, I'm like thinking her phone probably says my name but you know I go it's Adam like that and she goes Zach I go it's your grandson is what I, I said I go it's your grandson and she goes I go it's your grandson Adam is what I said actually I'm trying to think and she goes Zach he's my uh, cousin and he's a year older than me I go no grandma it's Adam and she goes, oh, Adam. And she's like, oh, hi. You know, and she, she's like, starts talking to me. And and I, she doesn't talk on the phone very long, which I do kind of like. But sometimes I wish she'd stay on a little longer. Because sometimes she's just shit and get. She just leaves the, you know, talks to you for like three or four minutes. And she's like, well, I'm going to go. And just, you know, you're just like, all right. And so I go, well, I thought I'd call and see how things were going. And she's like, she goes, oh, you know, 
I'm healthy, she goes. I don't have any problems for aside from being 92 year gonna be 92 this year and I'm like yeah I go I know your birthday's coming up you know and she's like yep and then she goes she she tells me the same story every single time uh, I call or talk to her which is fine um, it's it's just I think she has this memory locked in from when I was a kid and my sister was a kid and it, she doesn't want to lose it, <laughs> so she r recalls it every every time. It's the one thing she really zeroes in on. It's, I guess we were, you know, for a while, you know, my mom would work evening, so we would stay at their house after school, and I think I was probably six, seven, six or seven, and my sister's like five or six, uh, based on that. And we were eating dinner, and and my sister didn't want to say please uh, when she asked for something. And my grandmother told her that she needed to say please, and she wouldn't do it. And so my grandmother told her after dinner she couldn't watch TV. She had to go downstairs and and not you know watch television which after dinner I we I remember watching that's incredible <laughs> that show I remember watching that with my grandmother and grandfather um, in the evenings um, and uh, I guess after dinner I helped clear the table and stuff and <clears throat> I went downstairs to t to talk to my sister or, or see how she was or whatever and she was upset, you know, and I, and she goes, I, I want to watch TV, and I, you know, it, it, five years old, <laughs> five or six, and I go, I go, I'll go see, I evidently said something like, I'll go see if, if Grandma will let you come up, and uh, I went up there, and, I, and she always says the same thing, uh, you know. You came up and you're like, Grandma, can Sarah come and watch TV? <laughs> and and she's like, I always remember that because you always looked out for your little sister. And um, and I go, yeah. <laughs> I go, I still try. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, yeah. She goes, I always remember that. And I'm like, I'm like, well, that's cool, you know. <laughs> For a while, you know, it's been like 10, 15 years she's been telling me this story, but it didn't used to be her first thing out of the gate. It is now. It's the first thing she'll bring up, and it's fine. I'd rather, I'd rather her tell it and be happy to tell it, and I'm not going to cut her off and say, yeah, Grandma, I've heard this one before, you know? I mean, so... I go, well, I just called to see how things were going. She goes, well... I think she asked how I was doing. She goes, well, how are you? And I go, I go, things are going pretty good. I've been able to work and, and, um, I'm, I'm feeling okay. You know, stuff like that. And then she's like, you got a birthday coming up too, don't you? And I go, yeah, a few days after yours. And she's like, well, how old are you going to be? And I, I told her, I go, I'm going to be 45. <laughs> And she's like, oh my. <laughs> and then she goes, she goes, well, she goes, I'm I'm okay. We're we're here still here. She goes, hopefully one of these days I'll see you. She goes, before I go upstairs, <laughs> which she means going to you know heaven. <laughs> and and she goes, because I plan on going up, not down, <laughs> is what she said. And I go, I go, well, hopefully i see you before then. I go, I plan on that. And she's kind of chuckled, and she goes, she goes, well, I love you. And I'm like, I love you too, Grandma. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> so the, it was like, a, I think I just recapped the whole conversation for you. But, you know, I, I felt better after I talked to her because... I was able to let her know I loved her, and she is older, and I'd, you know, I know she knows, but at the same time, I want her to 
hear it, you know, and I know she's got a lot of grandkids, and, and believe me, I know a lot of people have lives that are going on and stuff, but I don't think she gets that many calls from, from the grandkids, maybe from my aunts and uncles, you know, or her kids will call and check on her, but I don't think that the grandkids are really call that often, so... I should make more of a habit of it, and I think I even said something to that effect to her, like, I need, I, I need to call you more often, and she's like, she's like, okay, <laughs> you know, kind of like, kind of like that, but evidently she's still, um, rocking and rolling, so get close to work actually it's like I said I'm working alone this week I called rescheduled doctor appointment uh, that's on May 7th considering that the stay at home from Missouri and Kansas goes to May 3rd um, I'd rather not go just yet to this it's just a follow-up it's it's not even a you know anything really dire or important that needs, you know, it's see the guy face to face for five minutes and have him tell me that I've gained weight and that I, you know, and then probably tell me that he wants me to do some more tests that'll cost me thousands of dollars. And I don't know. I'm going to have to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, people keep saying, my, my uncle keeps saying, well, you can get tax deductions and stuff. And I'm like, well, that's just great. But, you know, what about the thousands of dollars I'm paying out in within a year's time? I've paid out four grand, you know? I mean, I can't keep doing it. I can't. I don't have it. So, I don't know. It's one of the things about stupid American healthcare system is you got to... Gamble with your health. <laughs> well, shit. I was going to talk about something totally different and that got off track. And I'm almost to work now. So I might just leave that for the next video I do in the car, which maybe I'll get another one up in the next week. And I'll keep that topic bookmarked in my brain. Uh, this was mainly just about telling you how uh, you should get a hold of people that you love and let them know, um, even if they're not in dire straits, just because you never know. You never know if the last time you talked to them is the last time you talked to them, you know? And uh, wouldn't you rather they know that you care and you love them than, uh, than not? and then have regret because of it. Uh, I guess I kind of feel that way because of what happened with my mother and uh, the fact that um, I didn't really have closure, but the, I mean, like a definitive closure, but I mean, because she was coding and stuff when we got to the hospital and she was gonna not make it, uh, but I mean, I, I told her, you know, when, when that was happening, that I was sorry that it was happening and that I loved her and stuff, but she couldn't respond back. And then, um, but, you know, leading up to that, I was the one that had taken her to the hospital, and I was the one that had sat with her all night the night before, and and stuff, and they had sedated her, and she was starting to fall asleep the, when I was there, and I told her I was going to go home and get some rest, and that I loved her, and she said, I love you, and, and stuff, and that was the last conversation we had, but I was able to have that closure. I mean, my sister didn't. I mean, she she did, but it was a couple days earlier. It wasn't the day before or anything, and and uh, so she um, feels a little bit sad about that. I understand, but I don't know. So that's why I always tell people that I love them, you know, and that uh, 
you know, love's a strange word to me. I mean, there's romantic love, which I don't know that I've ever experienced it fully. I mean, I've had infatuations and stuff with people, but I don't know that I've ever been really in love with anybody. And then um, there's f familial love, love for your family. And um, then there's what... What I, what, what I deem as love is just a general concern and, and uh, a connection with people, you know, and that you, you on some level connect and interact and you just get along and, you know, and it's, that's what I deem. <laughs> Love. So when I say love you guys on here, I I mean it in the sense that I feel a connection with you all, and I appreciate you being here, and you know that kind of thing. Not that I'm love is uh, that's what I'm saying. It's just a strange word to me. So anyway, I'm here. I gotta go and clock in because it's time for me to go to work. So. Let's go to work. <laughs> Get this day going. So peace, everybody. Hope everything's going well. Um, we're limping through. Maybe we're in the last mile of this race for this year. Um, it's just when I look at that that map of the of the world and uh, you, the Europe and and America are just completely red covered. And a lot of the other places don't, don't, you know, have spots, but they're not covered like completely like our countries are. And it's just, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because a lot of people travel to America. I mean, not just um, immigrate, but I mean, come in, visit, and leave, and. Or people from our countries leave and go to other countries and then come back and bring it with them. You know, so. Land of the free, home of the Rona. <laughs> anyway, I gotta sign off seriously. Bye. Uh, I'll see you next video. Thanks for coming by. Uh huh.